The latest updates to the PS3 and PS Vita consoles change the way that you log into PlayStation Network. As you can see from the patch notes, signing in now requires a device setup password. I'm going to get this update installed and then I'll show you how you can sign in once you've updated. So the console's just restarted, so now I'm going to try signing in with my email address and my password as I normally would. Instead of signing in, you'll be greeted with this message, which is prompting you to set up the device password. On another device, you will need to either scan the QR code on the screen, or visit the link that's just above the code. A link to this URL can be found in the description. Opening this link will redirect you to a sign-in page where you'll need to enter your PlayStation Network account details. Once you've signed in, you'll see a page that looks like this. From here, you can click the Generate New Password button that will generate a new device password on your account. Here, you can see the randomly generated string, which is the device setup password that's been created. When signing in on your PS3 or PS Vita, you'll need to use this device setup password rather than your account password in the future. The instructions given on this page are actually slightly contradictory. If you look at the third point, it suggests that you'll need to sign in with this device password in future and you'll want to tick the box to save it so you don't have to come back here every time to copy the password. However, the text underneath that states that once you've set up a device, you can sign in on it using your account password. Now that's actually incorrect. This device password is the password you'll need to use in future every time you sign in on your PS3 or PS Vita. Once you've noted that password down, you can click on done and it will take you back to the list of passwords on your account. You won't be able to see this device password again, so make sure you've noted it down before you do this. The key we've created is currently showing as unused. Unfortunately, on my account, even after a few days, the key still shows up as unused, which could make it a bit more difficult in future if you need to revoke a key, because you can't really tell which one is used for which device. Back to the console now, you can enter the device password and you should now be able to sign in. Don't forget to tick the box to save the password, otherwise you'll have to enter it every time you try and sign in. As you can see, I forgot to do this. And as you can see, using the device password, we've now been able to sign in on the console. Repeat this for as many PS3 or PS Vita consoles as you have, which you want to use with PlayStation Network. The website does also mention the PSP, which I don't have to test, but if you do have one of those, you might need to follow the same steps here on that console as well. So I hope you like this video, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll stick around for the next one.